Good evening and welcome to ISTV News. This is Suraj Kumban Tabam giving you the news. First the headlines. State government celebrates 64th Independence Day of India amidst boycott called by armed opposition groups. And Chief Minister Okram Ibobi Singh hosted the tricolor flag at First Manipur Rifles Parade Ground. Now the news in detail. State government today celebrates 64th Independence Day of India amidst boycott called by various armed opposition group of the region. Main celebration was held at First Manipur Rifles Parade Ground with Chief Minister Okram Ibovi Singh hosting the tricolor flag of the nation. Ministers of the SPF government, MLAs from both oppositions and ruling, VIPs and VVIPs of the state and central government, top officials of the state police department, paramilitaries and the army attended the celebration. A colorful mass pass contingents from security forces, NCC, scout, schools and college students led by the parade commander, additional SP Moirang Thim Inaupe's salutation to the Indian tricolor flag hosted by the Chief Minister of Manipur. <laughs> Twenty police personnel of the State Home Department whose names were announced for gallantry awards by the President of India in 2008 were conferred the medals of honor by the Chief Minister Okram Ibobi Singh. On the day, Chief Minister Okram Ibobi calls on Naga civil bodies, UNC and Ansam to come up for talk with the government for ending all sorts of differences to their demands. The Chief Minister said over 3 to 4 crores of rupees were being vested in a day as a result of the economic blockade called by the organizations. Assuring that the sixth schedule of the Constitution of India will soon be implemented in the region, Ibovi said, a committee headed by the Chief Secretary of Manipur has been looking for empowering of the Autonomous District Council. He said, all those powers empowered to the Autonomous District Councils of the other Northeastern State will be conferred to the District Council of the State. On the dictate to drive out non manipuri from the State by the group, the Chief Minister terms it as most unfortunate. He said, every citizen of India has the right to stay in any part of the country. About the matter, which was being triggered as an issue regarding the overlapping of the census report between hills and plain at some areas, Okram Ibobi cornered the matter saying that everyone will be the citizen of the state. He however said, a high level committee headed by the chief secretary of the state has been looking into the matter and the final report has almost been completed. <laughs> The Chief Minister also highlighted various development projects being taken up by the state government. He said, construction of infrastructures for the Jawaharlal Nehru Institution of Medical Sciences has almost been completed. Academic session for the National Institute of Technology has begun. Constructions of the tree market complex in the heart of the city has almost been completed and it will soon be handed over to the people of the state in the coming days. He also said that several programs are also being taken up by the state government for making the infall city clean and tidy. The 64th Independence Day celebration was also held at all district headquarters of the state even though common people's participation was almost nil in the valley region. Tricolor flags of the country were hosted at its district headquarters by the